I guess we're going to continue reviewing Steven C. Miller films. What's up, guys? Got another review for you today, and today it's going to be The Aggression Scale, another Steven C. Miller film. And for some reason, just weird chances, I've been reviewing his movies. I did Under the Bed, Silent Night for this channel already. I have Automaton and Trench Using in my collection. The Aggression Scale is definitely, I think, his best film that I've seen. I like Silent Night. I didn't like Under the Bed too much. This one, though, is the most entertaining. It's not perfect. It's far from perfect, but... It has a big capital E for entertaining. Right off the bat, the story starts off. We're introduced to these mercenaries. They're just offing people for the first 10 minutes. Great title piece, great music. The film is also edited by Stephen C. Miller, written by Ben Powell. And there's some interesting lines in this film, but the story is basically that these guys, they're like mafia or something, mercenaries. They're working for this mob boss and they have to recover this 500,000 for him. So they're going down this list of people killing them. And like I said, the be Beginning is very intense, and then it takes a little hiccup in uh, pacing. I thought it seemed a little weird the way they cut to this scene, but it shows his family moving to the country, and of course they're going to be on this list of people that these mercenaries are visiting. But we get a five or ten minutes to know, um, learn a little bit about the family, and develop a little bit of character. And the main character in the movie is this kid, and he's the youngest member of the family. And you know there's something up with the kid, and that's kind of like a mystery that's revealed halfway through the movie. But the kid winds up being a thorn in the side for the mercenaries. And with some of the things I was reading about this movie, they described it as uh, Home Alone uh, meets Straw Dogs. Um, it does definitely have some Home Alone feeling to it because, you know, of course, this kid is just messing with these guys that are trying to kill his family. Like I said, it's just very entertaining. At times it goes a little bit over the top, but you find yourself rooting for the bad guys. You find yourself rooting for the kid. And the kid is funny because I don't want to ruin too much for the movie, but the kid is just like kind of an ass he has like <laughs> kind of like a-hole qualities and you just kind of like by the end of the film you're like hell yeah and you know he pulls out literally every macgyverish trick in the book like i said i was thinking during the movie I'm all, he's kind of like a cross between john rambo and like macgyver this kid uh you know 15 year old little blonde kid um but it makes for a very entertaining uh bloodbath of violent movie a little bit like you're next that's what i was thinking also when i saw this film uh, probably not as good as that movie. Stephen C. Miller is pretty good because he doesn't let reality or logic or, you know, he, he kind of just pushes the envelope a little bit, just enough to give you like a dynamic character. Like I said, the kid, he does some pretty wild stuff by the end of the movie. Derek Mears, who played Jason in the remake of Friday the 13th, is in this movie. He's one of the mercenaries. And he's kind of like the comic relief. The movie doesn't take itself super seriously. At the beginning, you, you're like, man, this is going to be just like dead on seriously. By the end, it's a little more lighthearted. Derek Mears has... Pretty good comic timing. He gets a couple lines off in this movie, and I was laughing my ass off. Um, just the timing of the line was great. It's stuff you've all seen before in different movies, but just the way it's compacted together. Like I said, if you never saw the movie and you grabbed it, you'd be happy that you watched it. It's not perfect. It's not Citizen Kane, but it's definitely Stephen C. Miller, in my opinion's best movie. The only one I still have to review is the Tom Tom Jones Fusion. Overall, I definitely give the film a 3.5 out of 5. Better than average, definitely worth watching at least once. Silent Night's good too. He makes an entertaining flick, and like I said, he just gets it done. It's like there's he's not trying to be pretentious about it. It's just like an entertaining story, almost like it's pulled from you know an old pulp comic or something. Really, they're just kind of cool. So yeah, let me know if you've seen Aggression Scale down below. But yeah, did you think they took it too far with the kid or? Anything like that? Let me know down below if you've seen Steven C. Miller's other films, what you thought of those, and make sure you click, uh, no, don't click shit. Go to my Facebook page and visit that. All right. See you guys. Bye.